Hold on, let's, let's, let's stop. But, yeah, I know trains I'm don't have... I'm using a clip tool to go through the seats and all, actually, right now. Mm -hmm. So, um... Let's go to the outside. Wait. Okay, so it looks like it's just one big train, right? Yes. So, like, if we go to the back here, we go... Then... I don't know who's playing that. Is that... Probably. That's not you. It's probably Psycho, it's the only one that makes sense. Yeah. And we go back here, and we get sent back here. Okay, so what's between the doors? Can we, like, stop between doors? We can try. Like, okay, so if we go through here, we get sent back here. What the heck? Let's look at the front. Let's see if there's... Oh, there's a TV screen in there. Hmm. Oh! Ooh, they don't want us in there. Clearly. Maybe oh, they don't... They don't want us in there. They don't I... want us to see what's on that screen. But the, the only driver in the front of this train is, uh, is the TV screen. Wait, what's this under here? I'm starting to get suspicious of what's going on here. I imagine this is something... Definitely... Go ahead. I imagine this is going to be like plot important stuff that they're trying to keep hidden before the actual reveal, and then when they review what they're actually expect and on the, um, stuff, the G-Mod. I swear, if the villain of the next arc turns out to be six from Little Nightmares, I'm done. I, we've achieved enlightened perfection. We met. Hey, congratulations! You you found the epilogue post the zero arc. <laughs> I mean, there is one thing we can try. Hold on, let me see. I don't put my. Uh, zero is the final. See. Zero is the final boss. The guy from Little Nightmares is the true final boss. <laughs> uh, how, hold on. I'm gonna look this up. But how to Minecraft. Hold on, hold on, give me. Um. Okay, so, uh, I'm just looking up a code real quick. Uh, ENT. <coughs> up, up, down, down, left, right, 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 PA start. Oh. Teleport. What was it? Is it not? It was remove all tele. Wait, hold on. It was remove all trigger teleport. Alright. Remove two trigger teleports. Huh. Okay, so there was another one that was supposed to have. Oh, there's nothing on the screen. I want the other- Will you guys lied to us! You try to keep that set for the information. I want the other trigger teleporters through the other door. I try and get out, maybe. Maybe. Well, it's gone now, if I- because I removed it. There's one other thing we can do. Obviously, this train is going towards something, so let's uh, let's go over to where the thing is heading. Let's go towards the train. Let's, we're going faster than the train. Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. This is out of bounds. Out of bounds. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. It's a tiny. Oh, the town is moving along with the tracks oh. to make it look to make it look like it's infinite. Let's um, can we go? Oh, we can't go over there. It's it's fake. It's all fake. <laughs> well, yeah, SMG4, all fake. SMG4 isn't real. You can go up here, though. You just start walking around the tiny town. It's like, oh, so this is what it feels like to film a Godzilla movie. Miniatures everywhere. <laughs> I mean, that is true. Come on, this is... Oh. Oh, it's a different town. This is not the town where they... Wait, was this the was, was this the town we were in during the last episode? Like, I don't know. The last one. I don't know. Is this I think this is the one we're in. So this is what happens when Mario goes to Detroit. I like how they only did the front side because they knew that no, they thought nobody was gonna come over here. Well, guess what, guys? I did. I came over here. Okay, let's uh. Oh. Whoa. Wait, you see what I'm? You see what I'm seeing? Something, uh, this is way out of bounds. It's like the train's right there. Is the train still moving? Okay, what? train is still moving. But over here. Oh. 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 It's Tari. She's like, she's like trapped and slouched over. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Like, look at. She just. She's got her face covered. Hmm. I'm trying to keep that private. 
Then again. Yeah, why we? Is, she's obviously got a little frown right there. But, like, is she covering something up? Maybe she's trying to hide herself because that freaking, um. Maybe what was that? The Tari thing with all the Taris from a different universe? Like, No Way Home, but with Meta Runner. What was that? Maybe she's trying to hide herself, like, tar like uh, because she knew about that episode where uh, all the Tari's come in, Tari across the universe. <laughs> she figured it out, and now it's canon. Mwahahaha. <laughs> this is interesting. This is very interesting. So something's clearly wrong with Tari in this next arc. No which I guess makes sense. It, it makes sense. It would make sense that they would do this, because... <laughs> I don't know if you know my waifu theory about SMG4. Go on. Well, it's just that I've noticed this, that every single arc in some way, shape, or form was resolved by one of the four SMG4 waifus. Oh, well, yeah, I've noticed that as well. Right. So, in the Waluigi arc, they only survived because Tari found the remote and was able to power it up with Waluigi's staff. Yep. In the rapper Bob arc, Psycho was the one that defeated Bob ultimately. Yeah, with that awesome sa song, Darkest Hour. Right, SoundCloud rapper or whatever. So, or no, uh, Darkest Hour, yeah. it was called. It's the, yeah, the first line uh, is SoundCloud rapper, so you got, you got the idea. Right. Uh, what was the next arc? I forget. In line. Uh, I think um, the anime arc, I think. Oh yeah, anime arc. Oh yeah, and guess who was the one who, who stopped that? Technically. Axel. Technically, technically, it was Desti. True, I guess. And then she died. Rest in peace, Desti. I mean, if you want to be technical, it could also be Maggie. But either way, but, it's a wife. Like, then again, Axel, Axel is a great waifu. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how D. Luke is top tier waifu in Genshin. Or how Kagi is the best waifu of all time ever. In everything ever. <laughs> Even according to Devil Artemis, 9 out of 10. But, um... Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, um... And then the SMG3 arc came along. And, uh... Actually, that one was kind of a toss-up. That one wasn't really, like, solved by any specific waifu. But Maggie in did general. Get, but Maggie got her voice in that one, so we'll say it was her. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they do something important, let's just say that. There was also the... Oh, yeah, the yeah, YouTube arc is the SMG3 arc, so yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, and let's be... Yeah, SMG3 is also a waifu. He's a massive Cinderella. <laughs> but, babaka. Um, b -b -b babaka. But... There's also and then zero. The following arc... The following arc was zero arc, and guess who landed the finishing blow? Melanie. Of course, it was Melanie. Yep, and then... So now... All four of them have had their chance in the spotlight. It means it's Tari's turn again. Yeah, which which most likely due to the fact the reason she didn't get much screen time before was the fact that it was, she had Meta Runner going at the time. So it's like, well, we don't need to give her much screen time. She already has her screen time. Right. Actually, but well, technically, that's right. Uh, she doesn't show up in the lawyer arc, but I think it's pretty obvious which one of the which one of the four waifus is going to be the the main driving of that plot. Yeah, clearly. Maggie. Yeah, <laughs> it's, no. it's obvious. No, it's, it's obvious. Phoenix. It's Phoenix Wright. Oh yeah, true. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> definitely, he's definitely going to be sticking around for the entire arc. Yeah, I, lo I love how they introduce him and then they get rid of him. It's like, um, no. How about you stay a bit longer? We can use an actual lawyer in this lawyer arc. Yeah, you know this lawyer arc will be also Maggie. That's also a lawyer that was introduced during this lawyer arc episode, and she's definitely a lawyer. Hey, you know, I can, you know, I find this, this. I can actually kind of buy that, considering she did go to college, so you know, I can buy her knowing some extracurricular stuff. Let's be honest. We're, <laughs> I think the average person, ever average watcher, is actually smarter than Maggie. Oh, well, the average watcher is smarter than SMG4 in general. Yeah, sure. we're not we're not watching I mean, it. We're, we're not watching for the plot. They can still beat us all up, but we're all smarter than them. <laughs> it's it's like the, it's like freaking Devil Artemis. Like we're not watching. It's like we will enjoy the plot, but we're not gonna think about it too hard. So it actually looks like, so, as it looks like, if you if you go up, it looks like the train isn't actually moving at all. What's going on is the ground is moving, mm. but it's not moving any closer. 
It's all fake. It's like a, it's like, it's like a treadmill. You know that? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. That's uh, it's interesting. It's, it's, it's interesting to say the least. Well, I think uh, now that we got all this, all the SMG4 stuff we can get out of this, uh, I say now that we're on this train once again. I think it's time to uh, give the train a little uh, little send off. What do you say? Sounds good. We're gonna blow it up, aren't we? We're gonna blow it up. Get the nuke, swags. You're running towards the grenade. Yes. We're going down with the ship. Oh! <laughs> the ship went down without you, or you went down without the ship. <laughs> Melody sleeping through it. That's in character. I don't even care. <laughs> That's the most accurate thing I've seen, and nobody was actually. No one was harmed in the in the creation of this explosion, except for the guy creating the explosion. Oh yeah, you know what? Actually, hold on. I'm gonna see real quick. Just what is what, what are they reading and or watching? Because I think I saw this earlier. Like, SMG4 is he's got no internet and he's playing the dinosaur game. <laughs> That's a, I didn't even know there was a dinosaur game. You've never known about the dinosaur game? Well, no. I just I see there's no internet. It's like, dang it. And Mario is still consuming vast amounts of pasta. Entirely in character, nothing wrong there. I, no, that's not in character at all. He should be trying to have sex with it. Well, he's in public. But he does it in public regardless. Anyway. Anyways, check back with uh, this guy for next time when he does his uh, reaction to breaking Luigi. Yeah, that'll be fun given that thumbnail. That will be a very funny thumbnail to look at. I'm have to, a, I'm have to just shave my shave my head ball just to make the same face. If you do, I will. I don't know what I'll do that'll that'll make up for that, but it'll be something cool. I'll win the internet. Anywho, you will. I, I will officially hand you my title as the Ace of Games, and then immediately win it back again. No, I'll let you keep it for a whole week. <laughs> a whole five minutes. I'd like to thank everyone who caused this to happen. Me? Okay, end of story. Yep. I love how we went through all this without addressing the old man in the room. He's not there. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, there's nothing there. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh god. Alright. Anyways, let's uh let's let's alright, now that we're done with that, we can uh disconnect from this we can quit the game and then we can move on to something else a little bit more a little bit more action paced and fun right 